everyone, I'm Amy. And that's Matt. And we're from Noggin Builders. So many of our young friends who explore STEM with us have asked us questions about coronavirus. So we want to help by sharing some information. Let's start at the very beginning. Every living thing is made up of small parts called cells. A virus is a tiny organism that can make people, animals, or plants sick by infecting those cells. People's bodies have natural ways to fight infection. One example is a fever, because high temperatures may stop many viruses. Our bodies also create something called antibodies. These antibodies attack infection. There's so many different kinds of viruses. Coronavirus is a new virus that causes a disease called COVID-19. Did you know that scientists look at viruses through really powerful microscopes? Viruses can be different shapes and sizes. The coronavirus looks kind of like a spiky ball. Not exactly like that. Here's an actual image from a microscope. Most people who get sick with COVID-19 have a mild case. That means it's not very strong or dangerous to your body. The most common symptoms are a fever and cough. If you have a mild case of COVID-19, you might feel sick for a short time, maybe a few days or a week, and then after your body fights the infection, you will feel better. Some people can get a more serious case of COVID-19, and it's really important to help protect those people. One of the best ways that we can help is to make sure that not everyone gets sick at the same time. Most people who get COVID-19 will be able to stay home and rest while they get better, but some people will need the help of a doctor. If everyone needs a doctor at the same time, it might take longer to get help and those people could get more sick or stay sicker longer. Viruses can't move by themselves. They have no arms or legs. So how does it get into your body? You know how your parents and teachers are always reminding you to share? Viruses are not something that we want to share. So here's what you should do to help. Wash your hands, use soap and warm water, Sing the whole ABCs at least once, maybe twice, while you're rubbing the soap around, and get all the little parts of your hands and fingers. Cover your cough or sneeze. Try to use a tissue to cover your mouth, or if you don't have one, use the inside of your elbow. And don't pick your nose! Or if you do, at least use a tissue. Don't touch your face. Your mouth, nose, and eyes are easy places for a virus to get into your body. And even though you're gonna be washing your hands really well, right? Keeping your hands away from your face keeps the virus farther away from your body. Lastly, there may be times when you and your family stay home for a while, even if you're not feeling sick. You might feel sad to miss a favorite activity, but staying away from other people can be an important way of not sharing the virus with others. You can use your time at home to play fun games or read your favorite books. And your parents might even think there'll be extra time to clean your room. Many of your favorite activities might be sharing fun things to do by video, including us here at Noggin Builders. In the meantime, we hope everybody is staying safe and healthy as a community. We'll see you for some more exploring real soon. Bye.